Um, hello, I will speak about the feature selection problem and um, the first one. Uh, I will speak about the procedure of conditional distribution contrasting. Uh, first of all, I formalize the feature selection problem and consider um, the two criteria um, uh, two, uh, for feature selection, average risk maximization and mutual information maximization proposed by uh, Vladimir uh, Wapnik and Rauf Ismailov. Um, when I um, will formalize the feature selection algorithm itself and uh, show you some experimental results. As a, uh, the conclusion, I will speak about advantages and disadvantages of the considered methods. Uh, you know, uh, you all know the necessity of the feature selection and the benefits of the procedure of this feature selection. I will consider two um, class problem where x uh, is um, a vector of, of features is an object, uh, y, uh, y is a class label. And um, there is unknown um, uh, distribution on x, y. I want to select a uh, so-named contrasting features. Um, um, uh, these features um, have um, the different, uh, maximally different distributions into classes. And I face with uh, uh, the following problems. To choose the measure that characterizes the differences between the classes and the, est um, the problem of this measure inst estimation on the empirical data. Uh, so, um, to... Mm, um, um, as the measure, I propose to use the function of the average risk. It is the mathematical expectation of the last function. And uh, in order to maximize this average risk, I use uh, the class of Bayesian estimates. The maximization of this risk in this class is equivalent to the maximization of kullback labeler divergence between the uh, densities and uh, estimations. Um, but the real uh, distributions in classes are unknown. So uh, to estimate the average risk, I use the results of the empirical uh, process theory. I use the empirical risk mm, um, uh, that is um, the average value of uh, loss function on the sample. And uh, um, I use the lower bound for mm, the uh, average risk that rep um, represents as uh, the empirical risk uh, minus pe the penalty term. To evaluate this penalty, to calculate this penalty term, I use the Rademacher complexity. Um, the Rademacher process can be interpreted as a correlation between the um, independent Rademacher nodes and the values of, fu of um, functions from the considered class. Um, if um, the Rademacher complexity is big, that means that uh, uh, there is a function uh, fit to the noise uh, very well. Uh, usually it means that uh, the considered class is too big and too complex. Mm. And uh, uh, the uh, advantage from my point of view of this method is that uh, the Rademacher complexity for the considered class of Bayesian estimates is um, mm, um, calculated directly in the closed form. Um, the following form, uh, th theorem and lemma uh, give us the exact uh, value of the Rademacher complexity for the uh, considered class of Bayesian of function of Bayesian estimates. And um, uh, then to estimate the um, average risk, I use the result of Kalczynski and uh, represent the low bound of the average risk via empirical risk. Uh, the penalty term depends on the sample size and the Rademacher uh, complexity that is uh, calculated dir uh, directly. And uh, um, this method mm, I is um, uh, to, uh, to maximize the estimate of the average risk. What is the potential disadvantage of this method? I the, uh, is the usage of the Bayesian estimates, because um, uh, it causes to the potential loss in some information from a sample. 
uh, to compensate these uh, disadvantages, I uh, also consider the method of mutual information uh, maximization for feature selection proposed in the recent um, article of Wapnik and Ismailov. Um, the mutual information can be uh, represented as the mathematical expectation of the entropies uh, and uh, defines how much information does variable x able content about the class uh, y. Um, in the article um, of Wapnik and Ismailov, the um, mutual information represents a via uh, the density rat uh, ratio function and uh, um, the following um, uh, form of empirical mutual information is proposed. Uh, to um, the huge uh, adv advance and innovation of this method is that um, ra uh, ratio function uh, is uh, calculated in the uh, closed uh, directly by the um, solution of, uh, of the integral equation where the right part of the equation is approximated on the sample and the operator um, is approximated uh, from the sample too. The integral equation um, is solved by regularization method and uh, the new concept of the V matrix was used for the uh, definition of the distance. This concept considered this uh, geometric uh, properties of the sample. And um, to um, estimate both this method, I, um, I propose the following uh, greedy procedure of feature selection. Um, First of all, I rank uh, all features. Uh, first of all, I select only one feature that maximizes uh, the mm, criterion average risk or mutual information. Then I select, uh, I select the pair of features. One of them are fixed in the previous site, and this pair also m m maximizes the criterion. And uh, mm, uh, finally, I obtain um, the embedded um, uh, sub, uh, subsets of features. In um, the first method, I select such subset um, which maximize the, uh, the estimate of the uh, average risk. In um, the mm, mm, uh, uh, method of mutual information maximization, I use uh, the some predefined uh, power of the mm, set of feature and uh, select um, the set with a predefined power. And uh, I mm, compare these methods on some uh, experimental data. First of all, I compare them on the artificial data. It, uh, it uh, were about one 500 uh, objects, 100 features, and only two informative features with different distributions in two classes. And both of these methods uh, successfully selected the required pair of features from 100. And then I run uh, the methods on the real task. Uh, the first one, uh, the task of selection of manufacture process parameters, it was about uh, 1,000 objects and only 10 features. Um, but um, I, um, to evaluate the accuracy of this method, I selected the features by different feature selection methods, um, then um, built the I bias classifier and estimate the accuracy by tenfold cross-validation procedure. You can see the distribution contrasting algorithm provides uh, the mm, smallest error. It is interesting that the maximization of mutual information um, select the uh, same op optimal pair of features and then uh, um, add the third feature if um, I fix uh, that I need um, only a pair of features, maximization of the mutual information se uh, selects the same optimal uh, feature and provides us uh, the small error. Uh, other standard uh, methods of feature selection uh, provides um, the uh, 
uh, worse results. And um, then I um, uh, test the, these approaches on the mm, task of higher dimension. It um, was the data from the machine learning repository, about um, 1.5 thousand object, uh, 600 uh, features, mm, two classes. And, the same and I used the same method of uh, occurrence evaluation. Uh, here you can see that uh, two considered methods um, provide good quality and selects only four and five features from 600. Other um, um, standard methods as principal component analysis and independent component analysis provide uh, worse results. As um, the conclusion, I want to say um, some words about the advantages and disadvantages of considered approach. The first approach um, uh, um, formalized the feature selection problem as the maximization of average risk. And um, here, to estimate the average risk, I use uh, the Rademacher complexity. And uh, the advantage of this method is that in the considered class of functions, the Rademacher complexity was obtained in closed form. But here is also the disadvantage of this method because the usage of uh, Bayesian uh, estimates um, is the poten um, cause the potential loss of some information from the sample. The second method mm, proposed in the recent article of Wapnik and Ismailov mm, mm, uh, uh, maximize the mutual information. And the uh, important advantage of this method is uh, the usage of full sample information uh, and uh, direct uh, ratio function estimation. But um, the in some cases, the solution of the integration inequality is quite complex task because of the kernel parameter selection, the choice of regularization parameter, kernel calculation complexity. Uh, and um, as um, a conclusion, I want to say that both uh, considered methods uh, provide mm, rather good uh, quality of um, feature uh, selection and uh, um, the researcher can uh, choose uh, the method that um, more fit to each particular task. Thank you. We have time for questions, please. So, in, f in fact, you used uh, the market complexity in order to get a lower bound. Uh, but uh, it, it is well known that such thing is uh, overestimates uh, the lower bound. So why not to use bootstrap, for example? Because it has good probability guarantees and it will accurately estimate the bound. Oh, what? Excuse me? Why not to use bootstrap to estimate the lower bound? Yeah, it's uh, some of the approach. But in this case, uh, the mechanical complexity is uh, uh, very, uh, give us very uh, transparent and uh, uh, not time consuming procedure because it's all, um, everything is clear, the mechanical complexity is uh, uh, clear, calculated, and so on. But yeah, well it, it could be interesting to compare. Okay, thank yeah. you. It works. Uh, I have a question. Why did you select naive Bayes? Uh, I think that uh, naive Bayes can learn only linear function, and, and if there is no linearity, uh, then you cannot, using naive Bayes, estimate the quality of feature selection. Uh, it, uh, I use uh, naive Bayes as uh, the uh, to estimate um, the quality of cl uh, classification. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I should uh, run more uh, precise experiments and use uh, di different algorithms of classification to more accurate estimate the quality. Yeah. In case of, in case of XOR, you wouldn't be able to show any results with this uh, setting, experimental setting. In thank you. In case of what? E uh -huh. XOR, strong non-linear function. You cannot show that uh, your method is co uh, picking up the correct uh, attributes, features. 
Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, did you check in uh, any form how your greedy solution is far from the global solution? If, if, you, if you do full combinatorics. That's how. Uh, in the case of um, uh, lower dimension, it was uh, exactly the global solution, ah. but in case of greedy search, uh, of course, uh, this method not guarantees the global uh, optimal. Yeah. More questions? I'd like to ask you if this method can be used for more than two classes. Uh, for what? Uh, for more than two classes. I suppose you said that uh, it. Uh, uh, um, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. directly. Yeah. So, if you don't have more questions, then we close our morning ses session. And please don't be late at the afternoon session. Thank you.